My name is Manuel, I'm running in Tagma together with Moritz. And we are doing tutorials on generative design, mainly using a piece of software called Houdini. Hello guys, welcome to another Nerd Rant. Please raise your hand who has never used Houdini yet. That is good. Okay. Simon Holmedal was lying. <laughs> Both of us uh, met in Berlin at a conference, and I was looking slightly irritated there because on the other side of the stage was this dude. And it starts up gently, but I cut it together. Watch what happens after 15 minutes. It was very hard for me to grasp programming because I'm an artist, I studied graphic design. So basically the XOR is only a part of a half adder and you have a... Okay. Because it is not for everybody. When I, for example, do modeling, I usually don't do it in Houdini. But um, when I want to explore my ideas or implement some sort of algorithm or investigate complexity, then Houdini is just the perfect thing. The key to understanding Houdini, to understanding this complex monster of notes sometimes, is understanding the principle. In my opinion, generative design is programmed design. So instead of sitting down with a pen and a paper and just drawing something or directly molding clay or I don't know, you think about an algorithm for the computer to build the intended output for you through program normally. So I think the main driving force behind um, using Houdini, using the approaches that we do, is actually the interest of solving one of these problems that you're just trying to puzzle your way through. How do you solve this? Uh, there is this, this invisible wall between technology and design. And to use generative art, you have to somehow bridge this gap. So the only true way, because there can only be one truth about learning Houdini, is ignorance. Not, not being stupid. Everybody should learn Houdini <laughs> because it gives you so much to understand stuff. No, not, not really. It is, if you are a ZBrush sculptor, there is really no need at all to learn Houdini. If you are doing classical polygonal modeling, Blender might be your best choice or Modo. And um, I'm having no idea for whom 3D Studio Max might be good. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> 